Welcome back to the Mash Paddle Brewing channel. Today we're going to go through bottling your beer now that it's fermented and all the steps through the bottling process. So first up, we're going to sterilize our bottles. For the sterilizing process, what you're going to use today is some no rinse sanitizer. We're also going to use my trusty little jug here as well. Plus it's always handy to have a bucket on standby as well. So what we'll do is pour our little sanitizer into our jug and we're going to fill this up with about two litres of water. Now that we've got the sanitised water, all we're going to do is just pour a little bit into each bottle, like so. Only needs to be a small amount there. What I usually do is I'll actually fill all of these bottles up first, then put the lids on and shake them vigorously for about 15-20 seconds, pour it out and then you're ready to actually use the bottle. That's the benefit of the no rinse sanitizer. It's quick, it's simple, it's easy. You don't have to re-rinse, you don't have to wait for it to dry. You can just go from there. Some of your starter kits will come with a bottle brush, which you can use to clean out your PET bottles. Probably better to use these with glass bottles. I only say that because I sometimes find that these may scratch up inside the PET bottle and you don't want getting any scratches in there. Scratches are more likely going to get more um, bacteria in, into those little grooves and makes it a little bit harder to clean. But still keep one on hand if you decide to move into glass bottles. So now that you've got this all set up, all you need to do is give your bottles a shake like so for about 15, 20 seconds. And make sure you're moving more around. Then you can just Tip your solution out, which is why we've got our little bucket here. Now it's ready to fill. Now there are other ways that you can obviously clean and if you're handy you can rig up little gadgets to wash these bottles so you don't actually have to stand here manually and shake them all. Or if you've got kids this is a good job for them to do and get them involved in brewing. But I find I prefer doing it this way because then I know that every bottle is properly cleaned. Now that your bottles are completely cleaned and sanitised, you can go through and add your carbonation drops into the bottle. So depending on the beer and the style that you're brewing, it'll either be one or two per 750ml PET bottle. And so that's a little carbonation drop is. All it is is just really just sugar. You can just pop them in like so. Now that that's done, I'm going to take one last reading with the hydrometer just so we can work out what the ABV of our beer will be and then we can attach our bottling wand and get to bottling. So to attach your bottling wand, it'll just go underneath the tap like so. Then turn your tap on. You start seeing your beer flow into your tap. You get your bottle, slip them in underneath. Make sure it hits the bottom. And the beer will flow through like so. Hear the bubbling of the airlock. And once you get to the top, you want to leave about one or two centimetres gap from your bottle, like so. So that way there's enough room for dash carbonation and the CO2 to get into your beer without it exploding or having too much room where it becomes flat. Once you've got all your bottles filled, store them in a cool, dark place out of direct sunlight and let them condition in the bottle for approximately two weeks before you can whack it in the fridge, crack them open and drink it. <laughs>